Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is just going to be like a speed quick review on a couple items that I've been trying um, over the past month and a half and I just wanted to come back and just give my thoughts and opinions on them and yeah, so let's just get into the video. Let's not make this intro long. Okay, so I'm going to go through uh, the things that I tried on that video. Um, trying new like makeup with BoxyCharm and stuff. I'll um, I'll link it up here below and you can click on it if you want to see that video and I'm just going to go through those items pretty quickly. Um, the first item that I'm going to go through is the eyeshadow palette. I had two um, eyeshadow palettes but I went with this one that day and this is a Too Faced Palm Springs palette and this is what it looks like. To be honest on this one I only tried it that once and I know you're supposed to try a palette more than once but... I tried to like pick this up and like be inspired by it but one these are colors that I already have and two the way it performed in that video was like pretty much atrocious really bad um two colors that I did worked well but then I started blending in a third color and it just did not work out it just became all muddy the shimmers that I used were pretty bad. They were more like toppers and it doesn't really say that they're topper shades or never was specified that they were topper shades. It just says 12 eyeshadows. Like, just the way they perform is terrible. Um, they just go really chunky on your eyes, the shimmers, but they don't really perform well. Per perform well. Um, there's no real pigmentation or, like, actual base to them. Um... The lighter colors did blend out well, but when I went into that orange, it was terrible. And I mean, right here, this orange is pretty terrible. That's the one that made it really muddy. Um, the blue I already have in just in a better formula. So I'm going to declutter this from my collection, and I'll be doing a declutter video pretty soon. And I just, I had no inspiration to use this anymore, or to use it even again. Um, based off the one time that I did do it, I honestly... Considering the fact that I got it in Box of Charm, I was never... Okay, let me say this again. <laughs> I was never interested in getting this um, palette in the first place, but when I did receive it through Box of Charm, I was really excited to try it. Not only because it was a it's a really pretty palette, but I never tried a Too Faced eyeshadow, and to try this one and the experience that I've had makes me never want to buy another Too Faced eyeshadow palette. Um, to be honest, so unless there's good reviews on other ones, but this one, not so much. That's just, like I said, that was just the one time, I'm not going to lie. Oh, I've tried it so many times. I haven't, and I just, I just don't feel inspired to try it again. So I'd rather have someone maybe use it for color that they don't have. The mattes were okay, except for that orange. <laughs> but, um, well, yeah, no, I don't want to try it again, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, okay, I also tried in that, uh, okay, let's see what I tried, hold on. Okay, so in that video, I also tried the Milani Cheek Kiss Liquid Blush, and I've tried it a couple more times since then. And the thing about this one is, um, you can put it on under powder, but you can't put it on over powder. I felt like it lifted my foundation and my powder. I tried to make it work as best as I could. Um, but definitely I would only wear it like on a no makeup makeup day. And the thing that I do love about this is the pigmentation. Um, it's not heavy, like you, it's buildable. So the first time you put it on, it's going to be very sheer. Um, like I said, no makeup makeup day would work fine. Or if you want to put it on, um, underneath powder would work well. I still want to try it. I really do enjoy this formula. The fact that it's, um, buildable, um, and I will try the other colors because this one's actually really, really sheer. It's the Nude Flush. Um, I would try other colors just to see what it looks like. Let me show you in when you blend it out. Like, that would be, like, such a perfect no makeup makeup look right there. But it's a very soft formula. I do enjoy it. Um, and it kind of leaves, like, a dewy uh, finish. But... I would have to like purchase the other colors see how they work because I really do enjoy it the formula um I just don't recommend it for like um so I don't recommend it for over powder like it, it lifted it a little bit so maybe not the best one out there um 
if you want and put it over. I would say the Flower Beauty performs a little better, but the Flower Beauty um, cream blushes are a little bit too pigmented at once. Like even if you just put that same amount that I just put for that, it would be way too intense. Um, okay. So the next item that I did try, I believe, yeah, this one was the e.l.f. Hydrating um, Concealer. really enjoyed using this concealer. It's not as full coverage as the original Camel Concealer, but you have sacrificed the coverage for hydrating. So you could use this as an everyday concealer and or, you know, just build it up a little bit. Um, don't, I would recommend not building it up too heavily because it starts to look cakey. Um, but if you build it lightly, like slowly, then... It looks more um, natural, or at least not cakey. <laughs> um, the shades that I got were light beige and medium peach, and these are more true to color on the um, through the bottle than the camel concealers because the camel concealer dries down a little darker. But I do enjoy the formula. It's really, it does really hydrate your um, under eyes. It feels hydrating. It doesn't feel really drying. Like I said, I think it's a great everyday concealer. But if you want more of that full coverage glam look, you would go with the Camel Concealer. Uh, the another thing that I purchased that day, I didn't get to try, uh, was the Pretty Fresh Concealer from ColourPop. And I'd have to go, uh, and I had to go exchange it if you watched that video. I love this concealer. I didn't get it as, as soon as it came out because there were reviews about people like, eh, having mixed thoughts. I was like, oh, do I really need another concealer that I might not like? Let me hold off on it, and I'm glad that I saw it. At, and I also wasn't sure about the shade, so that was another thing that deterred me from purchasing it from like online. But I'm glad that it was finally at Ulta, and I was able to you know test them out and see what shade I was. And the shade I'm in is 50 Light 50W, and I absolutely love this concealer. It's another hydrating concealer, everyday concealer, but it looks so good under your under eyes. It's like looks so amazing. I've um, learned a couple tricks or taught myself a couple tricks with um, putting on concealer and making it look more natural. But yeah, I'll be doing a video on a couple tricks that I've learned on that. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, this is a really good, another good everyday concealer. I love it. It's just, it's really nice. I just, the coverage is pretty full actually considering that people were saying that it wasn't really full that the the other the original one is a little bit more full coverage i thought that this was pretty full coverage and i mean i don't have that dark of underlines um under eye circles too so <laughs> that might be another um you know personal preference thing on on me too even though i do have oily skin um i prefer a more hydrating concealer just because i like to keep my under eye area hydrated uh, it's just something that that's my personal preference another thing that I um, showed on that uh, video was the elf putty primer eye primer <laughs> so another item that I showed during that video as like my little mini haul was the elf putty eye primer and I do enjoy this primer but I noticed that with certain eyeshadows you do have to set this down because it stays like it's really it's sticky but of course that makes sense because it's an eye primer you want the eyeshadow to stick on there right uh but yeah definitely with certain eyeshadows you definitely have to set it beforehand um before you you know start laying eyeshadows just because it'll once an eye once you place an eyeshadow on there it literally sticks on there and it makes it really hard to blend out i had so yeah i would just um maybe recommend just trying to see maybe if you need to set it first and then you know, just experiment, of course, with everything you do need to. I did expect this to be a little bit more, like, I guess you could say emollient. A little smooth, not smoother, but, um, like, the putty primer is really nice and soft, but I guess it makes sense that this would be a little bit, like, uh, not, it's not thick at all. It's actually pretty thin, but just, I don't know how to describe it, a little bit more smooth. Like, if you lay it on here, just, I don't know, the if you tried the putty primer, like, you know how it goes on very smoothly, but then again, that goes on your face and it's supposed to cover your pores or make your pores look smaller or whatever, fill in your pores. And that makes sense for this not to be as, you know, as emollient for, cause, because it is going on your eyes and you don't want it slipping and sliding everywhere, especially because you're obviously going to put eyeshadow on it, right? Um, and you don't want your eyeshadows creasing or just wearing away. You want it to last, so it, that does make sense, just letting you know. And it's actually very thin on your eyes. I... 
put it on with a brush. I don't like to use my finger on this just because I just sanitary reasons. Um, I use a brush and then I, I blend it out with my finger and the brush and then it just makes the look blended in a little bit better because of the warmth of your fingers. Um, so yeah. Okay, moving on to another item that I did um, show you guys during a haul that I bought. So this item I picked up for Walmart because I saw that it was a, a like a discounted price. Um, I think they were just making room for other products, and it's the Physicians. It's the Physicians. Oh my gosh! It's the Physicians Formula Organic Wear Sculpting Bronzer and Toffee, and it's just a cream bronzer. And like I am obsessed with cream bronzers right now. And I love this one. I've been using it every, like, it's pretty messy, like, every day. And I've used pretty much a good amount because it had a lot. I'm about probably three quarters of the way there. And it does have, like, little, um, little ball points right there, if you can see it. But honestly, I think that's just because of the jojoba oil. I've seen the other items that have jojoba oil um, have this. And it's okay, like, if you pop like if you get one out you scrape one of the little balls out it literally is just bronzer so I, th I think it's just the jojoba oil i haven't had it long so i don't think it's like old or anything and i haven't had any skin reactions so that's why i know that it's, it's good to go it's fine it doesn't really bother me um which okay and then i love the way this wears it is a dewier finish but i always said it either just powder make sure that i have enough just do powder or I'll just set it with another bronzer. But I love this way this wears. I love it for like a no makeup makeup look. Um, and it's just, it wears really beautifully. And it doesn't like wear away. It actually stays even though it does have a dewy finish. But it wears, it wears pretty well throughout the day. I don't see it like rubbing away or anything like that. Unless I'm like intentionally touching my face, which I do do a lot. Um... Okay, the next items are from my ColourPop haul. The only things I'm not getting reviews because, like, I mean, it's a sponge. The sponge is really good. I've tried it before. I think it's... No, I know. It's one of my favorite sponges. Um, I don't use that many sponges. I don't have that many sponges. But I think it's, like, the number one sponge that I have. Just the way that it feels. It, like It's, like, tiny like this. But it gets so big and it's so soft and just feels so nice when you're putting on you're not you don't feel like you're like stamping your face or anything like that um and the eyeliners the crumb eyeliners if you haven't tried them from ColourPop, they're really really good and they have a lot of colors they have discontinued a lot color a lot of colors but they still have some pretty good ones and if um you know you don't want to spend too much on an eyeliner um i would recommend those and like i said they do have a lot of variety so those are really good too Okay, um, the one thing I do definitely want to do a review on is the Going Coconuts palette. And this was my palette for January. And, oh my goodness. The first time that I used this palette, I was a little bit like, I, I don't know. I guess because I've never had a truly neutral, like, neutral, like, not too warm, not too cold palette. I just, I was like, wait, is this even showing up for a second? And then, like, I really started, like you know blending it it's such a beautiful palette like you can do so much i like these two colors right here what is it lovely bunch and shell ya right here they are so unique to me i don't have anything like that in my collection because like i said they're true neutrals they're not cool they're not warm they're just right in the center and most people if i mean i at least i didn't have anything and i have a pretty good amount of neutral palettes and I didn't have anything. I don't have anything like this. And I absolutely enjoy this palette. The shimmers are great. The formulation, it's, I mean, it's ColourPop. It's one of their better formulations, I think. If not one of, I think their palettes, okay. So, I mean, the formulation is ColourPop. So, of course, it's going to be really great, really long wearing, really easy to blend out. And, of course, pigmented. But I've noticed with this palette, I noticed with the Lilac palette, the Lilac You A Lot, this one, and also the Dream Street palette. They have a different formula from the other ColourPop palettes that I have. They're, it's all, like, they're creamier. Like, the mattes are creamier when you, like, um, do a swatch on your arm. So, like, when you do a swatch on your hand, they feel so creamy, like, so buttery. And they blend out so beautifully. And also the shimmers just feel like butter like they literally feel like you take a little bit of butter and you just go like this on your hand like it feels 
so amazing like one swipe you don't even have to put that much and you just go whoop, and it's just so so good like i love this palette and if you don't have a neutral palette or you're looking for a little bit of a different neutral palette definitely recommend this one like going coconuts it's such an amazing palette like i love it it's honestly probably one of my favorite all-time palettes just because the colors in here are just so quick and easy to use and just the formula is top notch even for color four items to review from that haul one is the next item that i'm going to review is from also the going coconut collection and it's the pressed powder bronzer in coconut beach and let me show you what it looks like just very neutral bronzer i have it on today i'm not sure if you can really tell it's just such a a neutral bronzer it's so good it blends out took me a couple times to see um if i liked it or not just because the first time i used it i used it with the cream bronzer and they didn't go so well together like i felt like it skipped a little bit this one um so i wouldn't do that combination again but on its own it's so pretty and it's buildable to where like if you just want to light wash a bronzer you don't want too much it works beautifully for that and it's neutral it's not too warm but it's not too cool like, it's not ashy to where you're like oh no like what did i do um, I think you can use it for like a contour and then you know bronze it all over the face and just a pressed powder a pre the pressed powders like as far as the bronzer goes I've never tried them but it's actually really really good and I think I would definitely purchase another one but I think I'm good on bronzers for now <laughs> considering that I put basically two new bronzers into my collection um the next item is the, so the next item is from the last collaboration the Kathleen Lights with ColourPop and it's the pressed um, powder blush and Lunar has it and it's they're both really powdery actually but they still blend out very beautifully I don't mind that they're powdery I'm not picky like that and it's just a very neutral blush and again I that's what I have on today and I really love it I love their powder blushes I think it's one of the most underrated products from their uh, I think it's one of the most underrated products from their entire brand and it works amazing and it's I have a ton of them and this one's definitely different from the ones I have because it's just very very neutral it almost actually looks like the bronzer to be honest except the bronzer is a little bit more cold tone this one's a little bit more warm tone but they work beautifully together because that's what I have on okay so uh that completes the mini review I try to do it as quickly as possible. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions, comments about any products specifically, just let me know down in the comments. Um, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And I hope you consider subscribing if you haven't already. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.